In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to take your e-licensor-based sample fuel products and transfer them over to the new Steinberg licensing. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure that you do have a My Steinberg account. If you don't have one, you'll want to navigate to the web address steinberg.net and then go to the upper right-hand corner and click on the icon for the My Steinberg account. After clicking on that, it will take you to the Sign On page. From here, you can just click Create an Account and then follow the prompts. After you have a My Steinberg account, the next step is we'll want to make sure that everything we have on our e-licensor is registered with your account. If you have already done that, you can skip this step. As you see, I have the e-licensor control center up on my computer. I'm going to go up to the toolbar where it says registration. From here, choose to register all licenses at My Steinberg. Once I click that, you can click OK. It will take you to your My Steinberg account. Displayed here are the e-licensors that I'm going to register and associate with my account. You'll see all the soft licensors and USB e-licensors listed here. You'll want to click Continue, and from there, you should now have all the licenses that you had on your e-licensor registered with your account. After you've registered your e-licensors with your account, you can click Profile, and it should take you to the page that looks like this. On the left-hand side, you'll see a row called Vouchers. Click on that. Everything that's displayed here are all the products that are eligible to be transferred over to the new Steinberg licensing from your e-licensor. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Cycle. I'm going to click where it says Redeem, or just on the heading there, and you'll see this DAC right here. This is a download access code. We're going to input this into the Steinberg Download Assistant. To do so, I'm going to click on the clipboard next to this code. This should copy it. Now I want to open the Steinberg Download Assistant. Once it is opened, I'm going to click on the Enter Your Download Access Code at the top left corner. Here, I'll input that code I just copied. I'm going to press OK. It's going to ask me if I would like to upgrade this license that I have to the Steinberg licensing. Before I do that, you're going to want to make sure that the eLicensor Control Center has been closed on your machine. Now click Upgrade. The eLicensor Control Center has been opened. You're going to click Continue. You can see for me, the license has already been highlighted. Now, I'm going to click on Upgrade License. After it's complete, click Finish License Activation. Here, click OK in the Steinberg Download Assistant. After that, I'm going to bring up the Steinberg Activation Manager. If necessary, I'm going to scroll through this list to see if I see what I just registered shows up. For me, it does right here. I do see it's showing a verification pending. You may have this from time to time. You may just need to give it a moment for it to verify on Steinberg's end. You can either hit refresh or restart the Steinberg Activation Manager. If it doesn't resolve itself after that, you can click on the icon that shows right here with the eye, and it can give you some possible solutions. Or you can reach out to us at info at samplefuel.com and we can see if we can help you through it. So what I've done is I've restarted the Steinberg Activation Manager. I no longer have the verification pending, and it now says Activate to the right of it. I can click Activate, and after some time, it will activate. The great news about the Steinberg licensing is you can use up to three machines simultaneously with a single license. This is a huge difference and huge progress from the e-licensor where you can only activate one machine at a time. If you had it on a dongle, you had to switch machines. Or if you had it on a soft licensor, you had to find a way to transfer it from one machine to the other. Now, you can have up to three machines. You can still use the e-licensor license of this product on your e-licensor if you need to, but it is no longer necessary. And that's it.